on the bank of pristine tunga river a deer and a tiger are joyfully playing with each other i like the word joyfully right especially as we go what what comes after this the deer notices that it is 40 steps away from the tiger and starts running towards it running towards it no wonder they are joyfully playing at the same time the tiger starts running away from the deer both run on the same straight line for every five steps the deer takes the tiger takes six however the deer takes only two steps to cover the distance the tiger covers in three Lovely. So, this is very interesting. In how many steps can the deer catch the tiger? Very interesting. So, the, every five steps the deer take, the tiger takes six. The distance, how many, the distance, the deer takes only two steps to cover the distance that the tiger covers in three. Right? Very simply. So, the distance, I'm going to, the deer takes two steps for tiger takes in three. So, what the tiger does? In six, the deer can cover the same distance in four steps. Every three steps the tiger takes, the deer can cover it. I'm calling only the distance covered per leap. How long it takes, I won't do. Now, we know for every five steps the deer takes, the tiger takes six. What is when the tiger takes six steps? Tiger six steps. The deer can take five steps in this time. It can cover the same distance in four steps. That's why the deer catches up. And when the tiger takes six steps, the deer takes five steps. The deer's five steps is more than the tiger's six steps. By how much? By one deer step. And so, lovely. The deer notices that it is 40 steps away from the tiger and starts running towards it. So the deer covers this one, two, three, four, five steps. It takes five steps to every time the tiger, every time it takes five steps, the tiger has covered four deer steps. And I'm thinking only in terms of deer steps. Whenever the deer takes five, the tiger manages only four. Not tiger steps, but deer steps. Every time the deer covers five, the tiger moves only four. Or the deer catches up one step. When it does five steps, the tiger has covered equal in distance of only four of deer steps. Every time the deer travels five steps, it gains one step. It is 40 steps away. To gain these 40 steps, the deer must take 200 steps. When the deer takes 200 steps, the tiger covers equivalent distance of 160 deer steps or 160 into uh, 3 by 2 tiger steps, 240 tiger steps. It doesn't matter, the deer still catches up. So how many steps can the deer catch the tiger? 200 steps. The tiger, deer speed to tiger speed is 5 to 4. The more form like way of doing this, which is speed equals leaps per minute into distance per leap. Number of leaps per minute into distance per leap. Using this, we can find the ratio of speeds of deer and tiger, which you can't get through. Every five steps the deer take, the tiger takes six. So tiger covers more steps. But a deer takes only two steps to cover the distance that the tiger covers in, in three or the ratio of their speed for deer five into three is to six into two, five is to four and then you can simplify after that. And so ratio of speeds of deer is to tiger. This is five into three is to six into two. The deer takes 5 steps, the tiger takes 6. But the distance per leap covered by deer and tiger are the ratio 3 is to 2. 5 into 3 is to 6 into 2. 15 is to 12. 5 is to 4. Or the, the deer travels at a speed which is 5 by 4 of the tiger speed. Or every time it takes 5 steps, it gains 1 step. It has to gain 40 steps. It has to do 200 steps. Gosh.